Here we are at the Fred Woods Trailhead. My name's Garrett, and this is West Virginia table tennis bronze medalist Steve Talkington, sure. who also happens to be my father. And we're going to be hiking the Fred Woods Trail. It took us about an hour to get here, and if you're wondering uh, about the road leading up to it, it's a really long drive up this mountain, but as long as you just keep going and don't really stop, there's like a nice sign like down the road that way a little bit uh, saying where the trailhead is going to be, and it's right there. So I'll be guiding us through this tour of the Fred Woods Trail. We're supposed to see some huge boulders and some really nice vistas. And I don't know if we'll see, like, we'll, we'll probably reach the vistas. Well, we'll definitely reach the vistas, but I don't think we'll be able to see anything today because it's so foggy. <coughs> Look at this gorgeous hemlock forest. Here we go. It's a gorgeous fall day. It's about 55 degrees. It definitely feels like 55. Here's a really cool feature we've stumbled upon along the Fred Woods Trail. It goes right next to an old, looks like it must, it must be a farm wall. I would hate to be the person who built this. Each rock has to be like 10 or 15 or 20 pounds. Yeah, it just kind of ends right here. The trail has gotten really beautiful. We've been skirting under really big hemlocks up until now where the trail has widened out a bit and there's hemlocks here and there and big deciduous trees and the leaves are just starting to change here Fred Woods Trail Thank you, Fred Woods. Dad, which way do you think we should go? This way. This way? Yep. Alright. The trail is very rocky, so hiking boots are definitely a must. Look at this. <laughs> Coming upon our first set our first set of rock formation with a huge hemlock tree just growing right out of the side of it. Nature is awesome. Neat. Trail goes right between these big rocks. It has started to rain, so I threw on my rain jacket. I broke my wrist a few months ago and I have a cast on right now and it really sucks because I can't get my sleeve over my cast so I can't really use my walking sticks but it's still gorgeous nonetheless
<laughs> We're coming upon more huge rock formations. These are the biggest ones we've seen so far. Yeah. You want to climb up them? Wait, which way does the trail go? Yeah. I don't know, we could probably go this way. Look at this. This is awesome. Haha. <laughs> yep, there's no way to crawl through that. This is pretty sweet. This rock city. Look at this huge hemlock tree. Man, this is awesome. Is <laughs> a tight squeeze. I wonder what type of. Yeah, this is definitely sandstone. Millions of years of sand. Wow. <laughs> this is so awesome. Here's a cool little tunnel. That'd be a nice place to stay if you got lost. An hour long trip to come and play on some rocks. <laughs> Dad, come over here. This is sweet. Wow. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> this is definitely one of the best hiking trips I've been on. I'll have to come back here next summer and climb some of these rocks. This is awesome. There's old CCC engravings back there. It's pretty cool that there's trail markers that lead right into this. Right there. This is definitely a hike for the spring. All this mountain laurel blooms in late May and early June and it is so yeah. gorgeous.
I was just down there. I can't see it. I was just down there. Away, but it probably doesn't. Nope, it definitely goes down here. Wow, look at that mountain laurel up ahead, straight ahead to the left. Mm -hmm. That is huge. I'll show you what I mean. This is one of the biggest mountain laurel plants I've ever seen in my life. Oh yeah, it probably is. Derp. It is definitely rhododendron. Which is very closely related to mountain laurel. So yeah, come here in the spring and you'll see amazing wildflowers. Definitely a place for a bear. Let's see. <gasps> Just kidding. <laughs> I had to sit down for some lunch under this rock. Here's our view. And for lunch today, we are having my dad is having an oatmeal pancake and a peanut butter and jelly that is flattened. And I have a granola bar and a PB and J sandwich as well. This is definitely awesome. And I'm very glad we came on this hike. Finished lunch. Steve, the mailman, is lacing up his shoes. And we're about to take off again. You're a pain. There we go. Let's go. Oh, it's raining again. All right. Water plug vista. Oop. Yep, you cannot see a single thing. And I'm getting rained on. I'll definitely have to come back here in the spring and hike this. And I don't know why I just climbed up on top of this rock. But it is very wet. Oh. <laughs> Ew, fine. Well, we just came from the rock trail. So we're going to continue on the main loop. Huckleberry Finsta. I mean, Vista. I don't know if anyone got that joke. But here, this is... You can actually see out over the valley with this one. This fog is unreal. It's moving so fast and swirling. I think this is a time a good time for a time lapse.
the more and more we walk on this trail, the more moss is collecting on the sides, and it is beautiful. It's uh, mossum. <laughs> This video is going to be full of puns. More rocks. comes some more rocks. This place rocks. Chipmunk. <laughs> we are now approaching the intersection between the trailhead and the main loop. Well, that was a really fun trail. We're definitely going to have to do it again, probably in the spring, or something. Folks, the Fred Woods Trail in the PA Wilds near Driftwood, Pennsylvania. <laughs> 